wake up, zoom, work, repeat. Through the monotony of quarantine, I think the biggest thing I've struggled with, but also taught myself, is patience. Case in point, normally my pets bring me nothing but joy. But when you're cooped up and already frustrated, sometimes they can really get on your last nerve. To deal with this and be more patient with my pets and in general, I try to be self-aware of when I just need to escape. When I just need to go somewhere like Mammoth Mountain and release my pent up frustration through snowboarding with my friends. As well as just being goofy with my friends, exploring new sites. <laughs> or if it's too busy for Mammoth, just playing tennis at the local courts with my boyfriend. So overall, I would say that quarantine has taught me to deal with patience in a positive way. Other people like my boyfriend Liam Campbell a 24-year-old USC alumni and content producer don't feel the same way. Honestly, uh, I think quarantine has made me a less patient person. He said he finds himself being less patient doing even ordinary tasks like driving. Every time I drive and I'm in traffic, I am like going crazy. Uh, sometimes I yell at my steering wheel. He did say that having a new pet to look after during quarantine has helped with patience a bit. I think Malvo helps with patience because he's so soft and cuddly. It's like, how can you not be patient around a chinchilla? Like, even when he breaks out of his cage, he's acting like a crazy person, like a crazy chinchilla. He is um, just so cute. So it's good to be reminded that there's things that are that cute in the world. Uh, and I guess it makes you more patient to just know that. Another way I've really had to develop my patience is with my friends. As a pure result of not having much else to do, there's been a lot of drama. I think a lot of that stems from living in tight quarters, from feeling like there's someone constantly looking over your shoulder, to them being all up in your space. The way that I've personally dealt with feeling this lack of patience is instead of letting my anger bubble up, I try to get some space and reflect. Maybe distract myself with a book. Then I try to reorganize my thoughts and see whether there's actually an issue or whether I just maybe need more me time. Once I've had my space, I can more easily talk problems out with people or just recognize that I'm the one who needs to chill. So with these various strategies that I've practiced during quarantine, getting out when I need to and taking personal space when I need to, I've been able to be more patient with those around me, including my animals. <laughs>